Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Punched Out Thursday to Die For. Now, I will be using my tag punches, and these are the ones that go to this die, and you can pick them up at close to my heart. I do sell them. I will have my link listed below. Also, I am using the leaf dies from Tim Holtz. They're different branches and twigs. And now I didn't feel like doing a layout today. So I knew I wanted to make some embellishments. This was in my, I'm also using my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I had this in my kit and I thought I would cut out some tags out of it just to give my tags a layered look. And I'm just kind of showing you what I used. I love the orange and the purplish color. Really pretty. Now I went ahead off camera and cut out the tags. And I have several in beautiful colors. So I'm just going to start out by laying the tags down. And then I have a pile of ephemera that I went through my ephemera in my How to Kill a Kit with Style and pulled in some of those too so I could get them used up. Now don't forget to go check out Ronnie Sue Scrapper, Dorothy, and Sonia, and Laura, and Scrappy Kathy and see what they are using today with their punches or dies. And don't forget to go check out our Facebook group and post your layout to share to help give inspiration to those that can't think of lose their mojo and remind them to get out their punches and dies. All right, so I'm going to do like a layering um, look. So I really like this over the top of the purple. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it just to get the ends to stick. And then I also pulled out some thread out of my stash just to add some texture and different things. I wanted to add one of these leaf things coming out the side, but I'll have to glue that down on my page so it don't rip or something because it's real like fragile like. All right, trying to get the thread not to stick every time. <laughs> All right, so I like that thread. It gives a different contrast color that I'm using. Had to wipe off the part that didn't go on the tag. All right, I need to tuck in my thread a little bit. All right, I went ahead and put some foam adhesive on that little ba bag of tulips. And I think, do I, oh yeah, I don't, um, I glued the, but sometimes I fold the butterflies and put glue right down the middle and then raise the wings and it dries like that. And I love that look. I have put foam adhesive under the wings, but this little piece here says brilliant. I know it's tone on tone with a little teal color leaves but I really love the look and you can see in that journaling card there's a little bit of teal in the uh, accent flowers. I'm going to add some of these uh, pink fresh jewels. Uh, me and Becky picked some of these up at the local scrapbook store in Colchester, Illinois. And it adds a really nice touch. Now look at my um, pickup stick from Close to My Heart. 
I wanted you guys to see. Now the other, it comes in really long. And I had a, a break in it right in the middle. So I went ahead and snapped it. And I'll tell you what, I can control it better. I can hold it in my hand better when it's short. So if you lose one and you only have one left, cut it in half. You can resharpen it and use it till it's gone. And then you have another half. So that's one way to conserve your pickup stick. I'm going to add a little bit of white splatters to this. I do come back and add a ribbon to this too. Okay, so next tag, I use my scallop circle punch for this one. Just to add that little color to it, the teal and the purple. And again, I just went with the paper I had in my house to kill a kit with style. And then I also went with the colors of the paper, the colors of the ephemera, and just started cutting um, tags and stuff. I'm going to put some aqua color thread on this one. I like to hang stuff over the sides of the tags it just makes the and when I go to do a layout all I have to do is this cluster is already done and it um, you could just add it to your page so don't forget to consider using your dies or punches to make embellishments it's a lot of fun when you don't feel like scrapbooking a layout and you want to, you know, play with your embellishments. I like this um, leaf tucked underneath the butterfly. It gives that extra color. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing with the butterfly. I glue it in the middle, and then it pops the wings up. I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive to the back of this just to help make it pop. Now off camera, I do do a couple more tags and I can't remember if I took a Snapchat or a Snapchat a photo of the other tags that I used. Thought about adding some of these um, little flowers so I'm using the purple on these just to add a little bit more purple all right so now I'm trying to I need to change my blade on my cutting knife it's really I haven't used it in a long time <laughs> I just use it to pick up these little jewels, and they sell these at Close to My Heart, too. They're the little bits, and I love using them for the center of these little flowers. Now, if you order from me from Close to My Heart, I like to send a little gift. It's a tiny gift. Um, sometimes I will send these little flowers in with the jewels so that you can add a little fun detail to your layout. <coughs> All right, I like that one. Now it's time for the ribbon. This one has a little bit of red outlined with the purple, and I thought that went really well with the, the tulips and the red in the butterfly and pink so I'm just going to tie it in a knot and then kind of trim it I put a little bit of glue to kind of glue it but it don't stay it just falls where it wants to Now this purple one, I do end up getting some teal ribbon out 
to go with the thread and add it to the with this purple one but I do that off camera put my pin back in there so I don't lose it this one I cut a little bit short but it's all right I end up using two of the same kind of ribbon it's real sheer and it's a uh, different color <coughs> all right I think that is it I'm going to lay these out and I want to thank you so much for coming don't forget to go check out Ronnie and Dorothy and Sonia and Laura and Scrappy Kathy. Thank you so much for coming to watch my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.